Firestarter here and this is my review of the Revolta Yamaguchi Kenshin Imura or should I say Imura Batusai um, this character is actually from the Meiji era when Tamura X is called uh, was called Batusai back then the sword slasher or in literal terms manslayer so this is the box that I got and we have here a similar looking box just like um, Kenshin Imura which I have uh, reviewed a couple of videos ago and it also has the elements such as the Revolta Yamaguchi over here and then we have here the 15th anniversary logo for um, Ruruni Kenshin Revolta Yamaguchi down here Imura Patusai 110 same same poses same look and feel and at the back some of the accessories that came with um, Kenshin Himura or I keep on saying Kenshin Himura because he's more popular that way but um, I'll try to keep and call him Batusai and we have also here um, some of the logos just like the 15th anniversary logo over here on the top it looks like a sticker but it's not it's already printed in the on the box accessories like I mentioned earlier poses fighting stances and so on and so forth now uh, without further ado let's open the box and let's look into the contents the accessories it came with um, first and foremost the Revoltec box orange box it says here at the back Revoltec Revoltec conta Revo container and then since we're not using this we'll put that aside we have here the simple um, Revoltec stand which are, which you should be familiar with if you're watching my YouTube channel so as the parts for the stand we have here a similar looking effects part just like Kenshin Imura so Batusai has the same um, effects part and he also has this um, belt for the gi which uh, you can use I was told that I was using the wrong I was doing the wrong way in inserting the sabato or what they call the sword um, it should be like this so it fits well and snugs um, but this is the wrong sheath you might be you should be using this just like so and this one fits better than what I showed you earlier because this one doesn't have a blade it's kinda broken in the point of the sword and then we have this so I hope I'm doing this right with this review and then we have two kinds of swords uh, I was told on the manual that one of them is just for display and this one is actually for fighting poses difference of uh, the difference between Kenshin Imura and Batusai the swords are in I mean the edge of the sword is in the right position um, you might not see it but I'm trying to um, move the blade so you can see the edge is actually on the right side so this is not a reverse edge edge sword so what's the other one we have um, six hands we have the fist we have two open hands, um, one holding the sheath or the scabbard, and two holding hands just for holding the two kinds of um, swords. I, up to now, I really don't know why they propose to have two swords. It's kind of troublesome, and it may, you may not use all the swords all together. And then we have the face the extra face but this time a, we only have one um, mark here instead of an X because uh, as mentioned before uh, this character is featured during the Meiji era so the other one is looking on the right and the other one is looking on the left so that's all about the accessories let's move with the Batosai so this is the manslayer. Most of the parts are very similar with Kenshin Nimura. Neck, head, um, shoulders, arms, um, legs that are 
not really um, a staple joint in most of the Revoltec figures and again the squeaking knee joint over here we have a Revoltec ball joint on the foot so it can go up and down and side to side and the difference between that is the face the, fa the default face has doesn't have a pleasant look but um, I'm just weird out because if you turn his head from different angles it seems like he's lo still looking at you I forgot the term what um, this phenomenon is but I used to have a Jesus Christ play which follows me a lot, a lot when I look at him in different angles so um, just replace the red paint apps on Batosai and then I mean in Kenshin Himura and then replace it with royal blue and we have Batosai um, details include the torn parts on the upper gi um, his mold on his hair is quite nice and I forgot also to mention uh, on my previous um, last review is that the hair can move from any direction as well because it rests it rests on a um, ball joint revoltec joint so you can move that in any direction that you want and also there's this slot here which you can remove just like so the purpose of this one is you can have him sit down in a pose and um, holding the sword and whatnot so it wouldn't hinder him doing so I'll do that on my photos when I do the um, photo shoot for um, Batusai but it does work I'm just trying to figure out how the hair is kind, kind of reminds me of Omaru from Samurai Showdown and then let's just place all of the things and elements that you would find in this figure like let's use the Sabato I hope I'm again using this correctly and then let's uh, just plug the effects part on his foot there's a hole at the bottom of the gi or the skirt or how depending on how you would describe it it's actually for placing the revoltic joint in for the stand so that you will have you will have that flying um, fighting action every time you um, use the revoltic stand with Genshin Himura so let's just put that aside and then I'll show you during the photo ops and then just to compare in size I was asked I was also asked to do one size comparison especially with how does he fare with figures like SH figure arts so I have here one common writer by the name of let me just squeeze everything out this is Hercules from Tom Rider Kaputo the movie um, Kenshin Nimura is quite bulkier than um, our fellow common Riders and a little bit shorter than like for example Hercules like right here so now we have a size comparison he's a little bit shorter but a little bit but Kenshin or Batusai is a little bit stockier than Hercules so if you want to know the possibilities for this figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video and do subscribe to my blog spot for the full written view. This is Far Starter. Thank you very much for watching and until my next review.